Hi, my name is Kelly Rabke. Hello, I'm Darius Tahas. Hi, I'm Jessica Hendy. And we are getting ready to do The Wizard and I, the music of Stephen Schwartz at uh, NJ Peck on October 28th. You know, Stephen has such a huge body of work that there's only so much we can cover in a, in a cabaret-style evening, but we're going to um, cover as many shows as we possibly can. and um, Ranging and from Godspell yeah. to Wicked to... To some of the movie works, um, like The Hunchback of Notre Dame, and also it is the 20th anniversary of a show that are very that is very near and dear to Kelly's and my heart, a Stephen Schwartz show called Children of Eden, and so yeah. we're going to do a little celebration of that as well. Yes, we did the original yeah. production at Paper Mill Playhouse 20 years ago, yeah. my goodness. And, uh, <laughs> and we still look good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to sing our song. <laughs> we're still singing in the same key. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've sung with Stephen Schwartz um, in symphonies, and I certainly love singing any of his music any chance I get. He's one of my very favorite composers of all time. I my last cabaret show that I did was actually devoted just to Stephen's work, so I could give you 15 sure. songs that I love to do. Um, Stranger to the Rain, which was my song in Children of Eden, um, will always be a, a very near and dear to my heart. Um, I love Meadowlark. I love Colors of the Wind. There's so many. Yeah. <laughs> That is a hard question, um, but I love, um, well, I love Lost in the Wilderness, which I did in Children of, Children of Eden, but I also love songs like Lion Tamer. Yeah. Um, I, love, I love Lion Tamer. Yeah, Morning Glow from Pippin, which we're going to be doing. Um, what about you? Um, I also love Meadowlark. It's one of my all-time favorite songs. And um, I also love like Day by Day because mm -hmm. it was one of the first songs I ever sang in high school. So it kind yeah. of like sparked my love for theater. Mm -hmm. And I also love Spark of Creation. Yeah. yeah. I love that song. Mm -hmm. That's also song. from Children of mm -hmm. Eden. Yeah, Godspell, I did Godspell in high school and it was the show that really made me want to pursue theater for mm -hmm. a living. Mm -hmm. Um, I have been very fortunate to meet Stephen on many different occasions over the years. I did a reading called Snapshots when I first moved to the city. I, I can't even remember what year it was. Um, and it was kind of a retrospective of his work at that point. Uh, it was well before Wicked. It was before Children of Eden. Mm -hmm. um, and then Darius and I got to work with him on Children of Eden. Mm -hmm. um, I've gotten to do some concerts with him in recent years, um, some symphony work Jessica and I both did with him. Um, uh, we did a, I did a PBS um, American Songbook series at NJ Pack that we recorded, um, Stephen Schwartz and Friends. So um, I've done master classes with him. He's just such a kind and generous soul. Mm -hmm. In addition to being such an incredible songwriter, um, he always takes time to talk to the kids and to do master classes and to help up and coming songwriters and He's really a wonderful person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you know, and just to put on that, you know, I think he's constantly evolving. Mm -hmm. So, of course, it's so hard in one evening to encapsulate everything he does because I think, like, you know, a lot of the great songwriters who are still writing and creating, they're trying to grow and evolve and, you know, not only doing musical theater, but, you know, going into opera and mm -hmm. contemporary works and things like that. So it, he's, he's an extraordinary uh person to do the work of and I'm mm. thrilled to be doing absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, um I actually can't remember the exact first time I met him, but I just know that in meeting him it was such a build up for me because I had looked up to him for so many years and he's just a guy and yeah. I I yeah. and I just felt so welcomed by his presence. The first time I met him and the first few times I've sung for him, um, he he's very supportive mm -hmm. and he's very encouraging. And so working with him is definitely a collaboration. Mm -hmm. I Anytime I don't feel like I'm working for him, I feel like on the same level with him, even though I'm singing his work. Mm -hmm. And he just, he has that energy about himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I found. He was very, very comedy when I auditioned for Children of Eden, and um, I remember singing Lost in the Wilderness for him uh, for the first time, and, and I said to him, I said, you know, I think this will work for me if it's a step up, 
you know, and I just blurted it out. Good for you. And, and he was sitting behind the table, and then he jumped, you know, he, oh, like this, and he jumped behind the piano, and he just took it a step up, and I was like, yeah, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's do it like that. And, and he was so accommodating, and it was like nothing for him. I, I, he really makes it for the performer. He really wants to make it work for you. Uh, he wants you to sing his stuff well, but he also makes yeah. it work for you as well. Mm-hmm. And I, so he writes amazing melodies that you can just kind of dig into and just let your voice soar. Mm-hmm. And um, he writes in a way that allows the artist to make it their own. He doesn't, his music isn't micromanaged so much where mm-hmm. it has to be sung exactly the way it's printed on the page, I find. Yeah, I agree with you. Absolutely. Yeah. And he's, I think it also works for all three of us. We all have sort of a pop inflected Mm -hmm. voice even though we're also all trained we all went to college Mm -hmm. for theater Mm -hmm. music and everything but um his music has that sort of pop sensibility to it and it's a lot of fun to sing steven's Mm -hmm. songs um and i find there there's so there's a lot of emotion in Mm -hmm. his music too Mm -hmm. and it's and and his lyrics are easy to grab onto and 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 relate to um, you know, as incredible as, say, Sondheim may be, it's, it's a very cerebral type of connection to that song. Whereas with Stephen's music, I feel like it's more of, it just, it, it goes on emotion. Mm-hmm. And, I and really the more you give it. yourself over to it, when you give yourself over to it, it's, it, it will support, support that as much as you can give to it. And that's what I find it's that's the great thing it's also the hard thing because you have to be open Mm -hmm. as the artist to the emotion that is being conveyed in the music and the lyrics and uh and as you get older and you realize things better and you have more knowledge of stuff (laughs) uh it's uh you know those things mean something deeper yeah they sure do yeah as jessica and i try to get through for good without crying (laughs) (laughs) So we're looking forward to see all of, seeing all of you on October 28th at 6 p.m. or 8.30.